horses. Ah, vale. <laughs> people, the name is Sky and welcome to my YouTube channel. To those who are new to my channel, I'm a student from the Philippines currently taking BS Nutrition. This week's video is going to be a vlog or more like a documentation or compilation of me performing some of the exercises for one of my courses for this academic year. As a nutrition student who is under remote learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, sobrang dami namin kailang gawaan ng video documentations. Yung mga laboratory exercises kasi namin ngayon ay very hands-on. Of course, kailangan namin demonstrate yung mga cooking techniques, cooking methods, as well as the different food preservation methods, and etc. So, the laboratory exercises that you're going to see me perform for this week's video is from my nutritional assessment class. I'm just gonna give you a glimpse kung paano ko pinerform yung mga laboratory exercises, but I'm not going to reveal any data. The purpose of this video is para lang magkaroon kayo ng glimpse kung ano bang ginagawa ng isang nutrition student ngayong remote learning. And I'm telling you, sobrang hassle niya, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Char. Yan, makikita niyo rin kung gano'ng kahagard habang pinaperform ko yung mga laboratory exercises namin. Also, just a disclaimer na first time ko ipaperform itong mga nutritional assessment techniques na ito dahil nga laboratory exercise namin siya this semester and hindi pa ako expert so I apologize for the mistake, especially sa interview dahil mostly kulitan lang talaga namin ang brother ko. Anyway, let's begin. The first laboratory exercise that I'm going to give you a glimpse of is the household food weighing technique. It is one of the most notable nutritional assessment techniques that we can use to assess the nutritional status at the household level. This technique is used to be able to assess the intrafamilial food distribution ng isang household. In conducting the household food weighing technique, we first need to weigh all of the ingredients that we're going to use. The dishes that I'll be preparing for my family for this exercise are fried bangus and ginisang ampalaya. And then we also need to take note of the nutritional contents of the other ingredients that we'll be using. I'm going to start with the fried bangus, and with that, I'm going to weigh the oil before frying. While waiting for our fried bangus to cook, let's first weigh the serving platter, tear the weighing scale, and then we're going to weigh the fried bangus after cooking. And then I'm also going to get the weight of the excess oil after frying. And now I'm going to cook the mixed dish which is the ginisang ampalaya. And then just like with the fried bangus, with the serving platter, there and then weigh the mixed dish after cooking. I'm also going to weigh the utensils that my participants will be using for this laboratory exercise, label them individually in order to get a more accurate data.
I'm setting up a refuse area so that my participants can segregate their wastes or their refused by dish. And now here are my participants for this laboratory exercise. Finally, the long wait is over dahil kainan na. So we've been like that for a while, and I'm just very thankful that all of my participants were very, 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 very cooperative with this laboratory exercise. That's why everything went smoothly, and thank you so much, my family. After the meal, I am going to get the weight of all of the leftovers as well as those of the refused food items. Later that night, I computed the food and nutrient intake of my participants. I really had a hard time doing this because we are an extended family. In calculating for the nutrient intake of my participants, I'm using FNRI's Menu Eval Plus software to aid me for the computation. Siyempre, kakaway muna yun sa stress. <laughs> After a few hours, I finally finished answering this worksheet, and newsflash, it's 1.44 a.m. na. Second laboratory exercise that I will show you is me pre-testing my food frequency questionnaire with my little brother, Kevin. So a food frequency questionnaire is one of the methods used in measuring the food consumption at the individual level. This is my video documentation for my exercise 2C in nutritional assessment. And so I have been assigned to develop a qualitative food frequency questionnaire for vitamin P. And my intended respondents are school-aged children within the age groups of 6 to 12 years old. And so I have here with me my little brother, Kevin. Kevin, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm 8 years old and a grade 3 student. So Kevin, ready ka na ba? Yes. So ganito lang ang gagawin natin, ano? Um, magbabanggit lang ako ng mga food items, salimbawa, corn, ganun. Tapos sasabihin mo lang sa akin kung gaano mo siya kadalas kinakain, like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or never. Okay, so ito yung mga, okay? You probably think that everything went smoothly during this interview. Well, you should probably guess again. my video documentation for my exercise <laughs> Hi, I am Kevin. I, I'm 8 year old. You're 8 year old? 8 yeah. years old! I'm 8 year old. <laughs> cheese roll. Do you have a cheese roll? I haven't had cheese. Cheese roll yung katulad ng sa red ribbon. Eventually, when I showed him a picture, I realized that weekly pala ako makain siya ng cheese roll. Enjoy <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> So ngayon, may idea na kayo kung anong ginagawa namin mga nutrition students ngayong remote learning. Well, marami pa kaming mga interesting laboratory activities, especially sa aking food preservation class ngayon dahil doon tinuturan kami kung paano gumawa ng kimchi and the like. If you also want to have a glimpse of those, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions for me or video suggestions, you can comment them down below as well. 
I hope that you like this video and also I hope that somehow you've learned something from it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And that's it for today! Thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Just a reminder, smile to make your day brighter. This is Kai signing off and I hope you all have an awesome day.